Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run, compile, and debug TypeScript in Visual Studio Code. To create a new TypeScript project, I'm going to go to File, Open Folder, and here on my C drive I already have projects for HTML, JavaScript, and Python, but I don't have one for TypeScript. So I'm going to go ahead and click on New Folder and type TypeScript. And then I'm going to click on the select folder. So by simply opening a folder, you start a project in VS Code. So here I'm going to click on this button to create a new file for our project. And I'm going to name it hello world.ts. TS stands for TypeScript. VS Code will automatically recognize that project as a TypeScript project by file extension.ts. So I'm going to go ahead and type some TypeScript code that will output a hello world message. So I'm going to declare a variable message and I'm going to use a colon. That's what allows us to define the type of that variable. And I'm going to assign hello world string to that variable. Now on the next line I'm going to use console log and I'm going to output that message. Now I'm going to open terminal and I'm going to install our TypeScript tools. So first thing I'm going to do is check my npm version. Just make sure that you have node.js installed before running this command. npm is a node package manager. It allows us to install packages into our node environment. So in order to install TypeScript you want to type npm install dash g TypeScript. Dash g is a global flag that will install TypeScript system-wide. Okay, so we're looking to use the transpiler for TypeScript and that's TSC command, but running it in this terminal tab is going to generate this error due to some security issues. But in VS Code, you can easily switch between different terminals. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to another terminal. And from this terminal drop down here, I'm going to choose git bash instead of the PowerShell. So in this command line terminal, it's going to work. And I'm going to type tsc dash dash version. And this actually confirms that we have TypeScript transpiler installed on our system. In order to run TypeScript files, we first have to transpile it into a JavaScript file because we don't really run TypeScript code in a browser. TypeScript is here to help you develop the program, but it doesn't actually run in the browser. So we're going to transpile our TS file into a JavaScript file. So in order to do that, Let's run TSC and pass it the file name of our TypeScript program, which is hello world.ts, and hit enter. Now, in your VS Code project pane, you will see a new file has been added and it has JS extension, and that's the transpiled TypeScript file. So, now in order to run this JavaScript file, we're going to run it by using Node. So I'm going to type node hello world.js and now we're going to finally execute the TypeScript program which is running as a regular JS file. So basically that's the required process to writing TypeScript code. First you transpile it to JavaScript and then you run the JavaScript file. So to change our TypeScript settings we're going to create a new file and it's important to call it tsconfig.json. So I'm going to create this TypeScript configuration file by clicking on this button and typing tsconfig.json. Now I'm going to start this file by opening JSON brackets and type another property called compiler options. You can use the target property to specify which version of JavaScript you want to transpile to. Here I'm going to select ES6. You can also add module property. 
I'm not going to go in too much detail on this one, but basically I'm going to select common JS. And usually you don't actually want TypeScript to transpile your TypeScript files into the same directory. So I'm going to specify the output folder for all of our TypeScript by using the out dir property and set it to something like out which is a pretty standard name for the out folder but you can name it anything you want now to confirm these new configuration settings we just created run tsc command without any parameters after doing that you will see the out folder has been added to our project and inside it we have hello world.js and now you can run tsc hello world.ts again and that will again transpile hello world ts into hello world.js in our output folder in order to set up typescript for debugging we need to add a source map so i'm going to go into my tsconfig.json file and at the bottom here i'm going to type source map and set it to true so now every time we run the tsc command typescript is also going to generate a source map for our file as you can see it has just added it into the out folder and it looks like this to debug typescript press f5 and on this menu select node.js and because I don't have any breakpoints, the program will run and stop. But to set a new breakpoint, click on this area over there, and you will see a red dot indicating that breakpoint. Now press F5 again, and you will see that execution has stopped on that line of code where we had a breakpoint. Here you can analyze things like variable values like here hello world inside a message variable and all kinds of different things like global variables and all that stuff you can change the type of a breakpoint uh, which slightly changes what it does or adds a condition to a breakpoint for example if i'm going to stop this debugging session and right click on the breakpoint and go to edit breakpoint and here you can select expression hit count or log message all these different types of breakpoints will allow you to do slightly different things with your next debugging session when you press f5 again so guys this tutorial has become much longer than i thought it was going to be but at the very basic this is how you install run transpile compile TypeScript code into JavaScript in Visual Studio Code.